and chow I'm back again seasoning for smoky barbecue is four dollars we're doing another raw freestyle corn tortillas are five six dollars for just a little packet of corn tortillas salsa is eight nine nine dollars for this tiny little salsa when you can just easily make your own this one's 143 so not as bad but look how small the amount of it, it is Doritos is 171. I mean, it's pretty high prices for for that stuff. I think it's just harder for them to get it. So, yeah. So somebody donated through the YouTube to do another um, market video. They wanted to see another raw market video. So, give the people what they want. I need one of these today. So that's what we're gonna do. We're at the different on. Um, man, I got this. This was not good. I kind of want ranch, like straight up ranch. I haven't had ranch in forever. Yeah, I can make ranch, but... And they got the music loud as shit today. Let me just try to talk over it. Yeah, this Benedicta wasn't the best. Let's try to find something else. Salad dressing wise. So yeah, we're shooting this video from a nice uh, guy on PayPal. I usually only come here once every few months, but... He was kind enough to donate and asked to do another one of these, so exactly what we're doing. Make some kind of some kind of exotic pasta. Let's see. I like this guy's pasta a lot. This is what I use for the mac and cheese I make. These shells could be nice. Oh, I don't know what we'll use them for, but I'm just kind of freestyle picking stuff. I know we're gonna get some prosciutto. I think we're gonna make a meatloaf tonight. So we got, I mean, they got a lot of pasta. They got all the pasta you could possibly want. Right, let's just go upstairs and start, start getting what we need. We'll come back down here and look around a little bit. We'll go into the liquor department and look around too. I'll show you pretty much everything they have. Everyone's got a mask on, but like two Koreans or a Korean couple's walking around, maskless, like nothing's happened. These golden crackers are really good crackers. They're really affordable too, they're 14K. These are good for putting cheese on. Let's see. All right, let's get some meats. Ciao. Can I try the Milano? I just want to try it first. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to try some salami. Is it good? 100 grams. Yeah. Thinly sliced, yeah. Come on. That's good salami. I don't know what what shoots we shoots we should get. Maybe this one looks pretty good. We're gonna get some Angus, ground Angus too. For the meatloaf. Quick. She won't play around. We're gonna try this one. Yeah. A hundred grams of the spec original. Uh, you are making a YouTube video. Right? Well, I'm going. I already seen your video. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Come on, thank you. Then we'll get some cheese next. We'll get this beef butter over here too. Pretty cool. It's always cool when somebody knows who you are. Let's see what else they have while she's cutting that up. Oh, 
probably got pork too. We're gonna need that pork as well. And we can just go half and half. So we'll get this chuck and that pork over there. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of this pasta, this, this nochi. You don't have to make nochi with nochi, by the way. Gnocchi. She's quick, man. Very fast. And we'll get some milk. Okay, and then, uh, One of the beef. Yeah. And then one of the pork over there too. Yeah. And then we'll get some cheese. Yes. Come on. Okay, let's go over to the cheese. She's popular. Look at that Gouda. They got like your traditional hams and stuff too in turkeys. She likes these coconuts. Uh, I can just go over some prices too. The bruschettes was eight dollars. The salami was around eight dollars. The ketchup was three dollars. Pasta noodles were four dollars. The Gouda is on a good price, so we're going to get 300 grams of the Gouda. And then we'll get some of this cheddar as well, this mature cheddar. I might even make a mac and cheese again. Three hundred grams of the gouda that you just had over there. And slide on those slides? Uh, just one chunk. Just one chunk. Yeah. Maybe we'll make a mac and cheese. Yeah. I'm floating an idea around right now. Well, the emborg is really cheap, but we'll go with the the white white farms mature. If it's a little over, that's fine. That's fine. The Gouda is a good deal. It lasts a long time. I can use it on sandwiches. We can make a mac and cheese with it or some kind of other cheesy cheese sauce. And then. 150 of the mature white farm. This one. The yellow. Gotta have that color. 150. Yes, ma'am. And just a block also? Yeah, just a block. If it's over, it's fine. Hoping I can walk home. We'll see how that goes. It's been raining all day. I had to take a grab here. She's super fast. This is my usual go to uh, on the market, not the bigger one. Come on, thank you so much. 
Excuse me. Come in. Let's see. The lettuce was really good here last time too. Like vastly superior to uh, what we got here. This is already wrapped too. Looks pretty good. I've been having a salad every day now. Get some greens back in my life. Already priced, 28K, not bad at all. Very good price. On par with the same with uh, with like just going to normal. Let's get the milk. Okay, we've got the milk. No sugar. It says none sugar. Okay, this is the best milk I've found, by the way. It crushes. What else do we need? I kind of need brown sugar, but I don't think they're going to have it. What else do they have here? Frog Ross. A million for Frog Ross. Amazing. Generally, the meat's uh, newer here, too. Like, uh, if you buy chicken at, like, uh, you know, uh, Vinmart, you gotta use it that day because it's like already on its, on its way out. So, oh, salami's good. We already got the, we already got the prosciutto. So let's get some cooking cream. The Emborg is my favorite one. I haven't, I tried a few of the others, but the Emborg seems to really just work really well. We're possibly putting together a menu to ship out on grab food and uh, via food so if you're in vietnam and in saigon and, and around quan one i think i'll have a delivery system going soon for the food i make we're tossing it around maybe we could do like a stuffed pepper too do just a couple stuffed peppers Baby carrots could be nice too. These are already fried. Let's grab these too. It's tough to get baby carrots at the like outdoor market. I imagine we're gonna be around fifty dollars. The donation was for more than that, so thank you, come on. Did it have any good tomato? Oh wait, hold on. Let's do these two. My selection of chips. Come on, thank you. All right, I can't think of anything else we need up here. We've got enough cheese to make a really hearty mac and cheese. Let's see, we got stuff to make a salad. See, that's organic. I don't mess with organic. Still got an onion at home, so we're good on onion. I'm trying to go through like the list in my head if we need anything else. I think we're good. <clears throat> nice little baby carrot. Oh, potato. Let's see if they have potato. Sometimes you can get like a different potato than what's usually at like a straight Vietnamese market. Yes, this is a Vietnamese market, but. They also sell stuff from all around the world. I don't see any good potatoes. Oh, here we go, actually. I'll be wrong. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Surprised to see these good looking potatoes. Maybe make some, some double fried french fries. Or make a mashed, mashed reduction. We'll, we'll see. Come on. Pumpkin, I like to cook with pumpkin too. You can do it like a stuffed pumpkin. So we might make stuffed peppers as well with some of the meatloaf mix. 
I don't think Winnie's ever had a stuffed pepper, so it'll be good to have her try something new. We'll have a gooey. Let's see if there's one more cheese maybe we can get. Get get like an exotic topping cheese for the uh, the mac and cheese. Let's see. Yes, I eat laughing cow for people that ask what's in the fridge. We can almost use those shelves and make like a Let's see if they've got some kind of like strong yellow cheese to top the. Let me see here. White is what we got over there. And we got the mature, so that should actually be pretty good for a topping. I think we're good actually. Let's see. We got the good. Anything else we need? I got some mozza, mozzarella at home too. I think we're good. I think I'm happy with that. I'm just still going through the list. It's not a bad price for uh, salmon. They got your Pringles here if you want any Pringles. Let me show you all the chips they have. In case you were wondering, if, like, can I get all the chips I like back home? Cool Ranch, that's a good price on Cool Ranch actually. They got two sizes, yeah, they got the big bag. I grew up on Cool Ranch, so yeah, of course I have a slight affinity for Doritos. Maybe we'll grab a bag of those. Let's see. So yeah, they've got, I think these are Australian chips, if I remember right. Pretzels are pretty decent price. They've got your Doritos, they've got your Classic Lays, they've got the Kettle. Um, they usually have nacho chips. I don't know why those aren't here today. I saw them somewhere else downstairs, so maybe they put, I mean, uh, chips and salsa chips. Here's what's in the freezer. I don't know if I showed the freezer part last time. But I think these are also Australian frozen pizzas. I'd be curious to try like the bagel bites back there, but it's all just too expensive. I can make a pizza so much cheaper. You know, maybe we'll pick up a pizza kit if they have one down there because it comes with the yeast. And I can make a few pizzas as well because I've got enough mozz at home to make a pizza or two. Maybe we pick up one more brick of matzo because I think I got only half. Because then this will be multiple meals. This is going to be pizza, stuffed peppers. Um, and mozzarella cheese has been on a good sale lately. Let's see. What's the one we want? the end work like yeah that's a pretty good deal it's four dollars and it melts really nice so yeah this will be many different meals it's looking like three or four right now so i hope you enjoyed this kind paypal contributor and i think we might use these no cheese as the for the mac and cheese let's let's see let's go look at the uh the noodles some more I need to also get a bon mai or two. Let's look at the small noodles again. I'll show you the cereals and stuff too. Let's take a look around here. Let's see. I don't know what these are. Tubi Regani. Let's see. I think I'm gonna grab one of the macaronis. Let me show you what else they've got. You know, all these sauces here. This stuff I stay away from. It does not taste like milk. I don't know how it can stay warm even. Don't fuck with this if you like American milk. And they got, you know, the kids section over here. Almond milk, healthy stuff. I think we're gonna stick to what we know. Let's see. These are good. Yeah, I think we're gonna get the elbow mac. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you around 
This is 76, so $3 roughly. I'll show you around the cereal. I think we covered everything that's in here. 20 minutes. Let's see. I could use some more oregano. I'm a bit low. My garlic salt went to shit too. Can I like, my garlic salt's all wet. Is there a way I can dry that out? Like put it in the oven and cook it? That's what I was thinking. Well, let's go ahead and get one of these while we're here. We need it anyway. What is this one? Oh, nochi. Another different kind of nochi. So this is gonna make a lot of meals. I already have a bunch of red sauce at home that I can throw together with like garlics and onions and make my own sauce. Yeah, here's the tortilla chips. These are the best. These have got a crunchy, if you like yellow, like a nice crunchy yellow. Um, what else do they have? They've got your beans. You can make, probably throw together a chili if you want to throw together a chili. It's a bit expensive though. It's like four to eight dollars for one can of beans. When in America we would pay like a dollar. They're missing a the good dressing. Like I can't be around this area too much because the music is too loud and I don't want to get monetized. So I'll fight it though. This, oh, this is what I was looking for. Caesar, honey Dijon. Well, we're just gonna have to use what we got. But let me show you the cereals we can get. All the American cereals are here, you know, as you can see. I wish they weren't playing this house music so loud. If I get demonetized, I'm gonna be one pissed man. They got Tito's for a million. Wow, that's crazy. They got Moet, Moet, Papa Moet. Do they got any cool beers? That shit's too expensive. I'm not gonna waste money on that. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's is what it is. So tonight we'll do another video. I'm cooking all this stuff because so many people were like, oh, it's so great to see you shop. And we live streamed it on Twitch last time. So this time I'll film it for YouTube and put it up on YouTube so you guys can see everything that we ate. I'll also give you the total price, which I'm going to guess somewhere around 1.5 million for all this. Okay. See you on the next one, guys. Peace. I guessed exactly right. I said 1.5. It's 1.592. That's how good I am at shopping here, guys. 1.592.